I've always kind of been attracted to science. And the classes that I excelled in were a little more engineering-like, so I ended up going to University of Michigan. I was thinking about computer science and pre-med. I was also thinking about biology a little bit because by taking pre-med classes, I ended up taking a lot of biology classes. I ended up asking my dad, how do I bring these two areas together? He said, well, what about bioinformatics? Then I did a master's program in biotechnology with a specialization in, in bioinformatics at University of Pennsylvania. It's a professional master's, and so the next thing is, okay, I have to find a job. I started out as a research assistant in a biomedical informatics core facility. The focus was on designing and developing tools to help researchers to manage their data. I think that solidified that I want to do a PhD. Then I did this program called Bioengineering and Bioinformatics Summer Institute, and it was at University of Pittsburgh. We used modeling to understand how the heart works. We use data from mice. I got to see how we can leverage models to understand how different physiology, how the body works. I was already excited to go to a PhD program, but that just made me even more excited. I get to do this for 100% of my time for the next however many years. I actually applied to a range of informatics programs. The University of Washington ended up being the main one that had both bio and clinical. We all had to take research methods course, clinical informatics, public health informatics, and being somebody who knew bio, that was really exciting for me to get exposed to all these other areas. People come from all over to our field. By being on team projects, I learned a lot about different perspectives. That was the first time where I learned how clinicians use technologies to help them treat their patients and to help manage data. My first faculty position was at University of Maryland in the program for personalized medicine. The thing that we were hearing is there's enough evidence in some areas for us to be using genomic medicine practices, but it's not happening, and why isn't it happening? What kinds of evidence and what kind of guidance needs to be available in order to actually implement decision support for genomic medicine? Right now I'm at Hopkins in general internal medicine with a joint in the Division of Health Sciences Informatics and also part of the Malone Center for Engineering and Healthcare. An area that I'm getting more involved in is in education. Academia is the main setting where you can train students in informatics research. When I talk to students, I say that there's lots of paths to take. There's a need to understand data and information in different models of care. I think that we're very well equipped to be able to adjust some of the new challenges that are emerging because of this.